Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem that these uh, programs we have are not for entertainment purposes and the talks are definitely not for entertainment purposes. That as a student of the way and anybody whom seeking guidance the character that's required in the tariqah and these are the next few nights that Allah describes the immensity of Muharram leaving bad and moving towards the good, asking to go towards the city of lights, Shahr Safar, the holy month of Safar, Allah is opening and describing this is the cave, this is the cave of all realities, this is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and then begins within Surat Al-Kahf to describe the Asaab Al-Kahf, the people of this cave, the character of what he's looking for in the cave with the example of Sayyidina Khidr and Nabi Musa salam. So all, all of this is a guidance from Holy Qur'an, a guidance from Allah's ancient realities emanating from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad so then the shaykhs of this way they are not talking for entertainment purposes. And we get emails that come and keep emailing that, you're not answering my email, you're not answering my email and, and nobody's answering my email. And then you go through and look again and say, what's in this email? I said, my God we've been talking about this for the last week, where the heck have you been? And that's a bad sign, that's the, that's the sign that you know the shaykhs are looking at and wondering, what do you think when we're talking? Who do you think we're talking about? If you don't think the talk is for you and this is how we were raised that, that every talk was for me. This wasn't an entertainment and I wonder who he's talking about, every talk that the shaykh talked it was for me and even when we talk now it's first for me again and always because as we are connecting we're asking for guidance from our shaykhs and the, the connection that been established for what is it that I'm supposed to be doing? What is it that I'm supposed to be remembering? Isharat and guidance and, and remembrance is for myself when, when my clarity is strong and, and to understand that what is it that I'm supposed to be receiving as an understanding, all those whom are listening are supposed to also be same character, that everything he's saying is for me. So who's out there listening to all these and not, not hearing a single word of guidance and then keep emailing that you're not responding, that one you have a sickness of arrogance because you must be thinking the talks are about somebody else and that you want a one-on-one -on -one email to come to you. But guidance and tariqah guidance, the email and the writing is for your entertainment so that you feel connected. We are not in need of anyone to write anything, every talk has already the remedy and the medicine for all those whom are listening. And this is the greatness of Allah this is the immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad because the Muhammadan heart hears everything, kulli shay, everything is encompassed. Prophet hears everything, every guidance is coming. And every coordinates is coming out. Malaikati wa ru' wa kulli amr, wa kulli amr means for every command is coming down. Like a Wi Fi signal hits this one, that one, this one, that one, the same signal that came down. It hit your heart, went past through you, hit the next person's heart behind you. Because this is a world of light, it's not going through the physical, it's going through the, the souls and the energy of all creation and everything getting its command and its guidance. And that's why Allah says, you have ears but you don't hear. 
And this is exactly that situation that the shaykh is talking for a week on mental sickness, mental dysfunctioning, uh, all of the spiritual healing. If you are mentally off that's why they're talking about this. Do you think that you're the only mental person? Or everyone is mentally off right now because something is in the air. There's a negativity of immense, immense difficulty and that's flipping everyone's neurons in their head. When these energies are coming it's flipping all of their mental coordination. That's why the command and the command headquarters is giving these isharats, giving these guidances. And, and teaching about you have to meditate. Why? Because you're not going to receive the energy you need to receive without it. It doesn't come by going to the shopping center, it doesn't come by going into the woods and wasting your time hiking among the bears and wolves and coyotes. You're not a bear, you're not going to get anything from that. But if you're going to go do those things and meditate and contemplate and breathe and make the connection, ask for the fires, bring the energies on to the body and that's why then they begin to teach. Just build the spirituality, then take care of your physical health. You have to eat, you have to eat sufficiently. If you have an inability to eat, eat something very fatty that doesn't have high quantity. Here and in the West if you're sick they give you Hagen dazs ice cream because high fat content, high sugar content. You know what an IV is when you go to a hospital? Sugar water, saline solution with salt, sugar and water because they know that your body can't take. So then you can get all your nutrients in ice cream. So same concept, if you're not able to eat and you're letting your body to fall apart you have to do something to bring the strength of your body back, take care of your body, the regiment of diet and, and, and vitamins that they have been inspiring over the last two years now was for physical health. Mental health, make sure that you're, you're listening to the talks, that you're mentally trying to ground yourself, don't go left, don't go right, don't go far out into the universe and, and UFOs, you keep yourself very ground. And what the shaykhs are teaching, if there's a chemical imbalance you have to immediately seek medical advice. You get the medicine, so if we have sicknesses in our physicality we have to go get the medicine for the physicality. If we have a sickness in our mentality we have to get the medicines for the mentality and then we do our spiritual practices. So we've been saying this for, for so many times. But when people are emailing and saying that you're not responding, not responding, it's the question is how come you're not hearing? How come when the associations are taking place you're not thinking, this is my answer, this is exactly what I've been emailing. You emailed for your ego just to connect and to make sure that you feel connected. But don't think the shaykhs are in, in need of your email to understand what's wrong with you because Allah knows who you are. Allah sent you to go and talk to those shaykhs. But the training was that you were supposed to sit with them, listen in their associations and then with all your heart say, now they're going to give the guidance I need. And many people correctly say, I play a video every day and the answers come in every video. What's correct because it takes a humble person to think that, that I, I'm going to get the medicine I need. I'm in need and what he's talking about is only for me. And if you feel like that you will hear exactly what Allah wants you to hear. And he may be saying something and the next person to you said, I thought he said something else because that's what you needed to hear. And everybody will hear what they need to hear. You'll get the medicine that you need. So then the email is only for you to feel I'm connected with them but they don't need your email to know who you are and what your condition is because your Lord knows who you are, Allah knows who you are. And Allah sends the same signal to Prophet and if we do our work correctly and we connect our heart to that connection 
then that same advice is emanating out. So the one who made you is the one whom guiding you, the one whom then giving isharat and guidance for what to correct you. So this is like a heavenly station and that's why we need guidance. When we don't have that connection, so if you spent all your life and the shaykh didn't build you up with a satellite connection, so many people, oh my shaykh passed away. If your shaykh passed away and you weren't given a satellite connection that you didn't reach a level of authority in which they authorized you into their satellite network. And with that satellite network means you're authorized to tune into their channels and the isharat and guidance comes into your heart. Those students they've been given permission for guidance, the shaykh said, here are the coordinates, this is your access into that system and as soon as you speak you'll be speaking from that broadcast. And each shaykh to his level and his understanding and his level of training, some high, some very low into their understanding of that coordinates. So this tariqah. It's just a reminder for myself that uh, you not hearing all these talks and these weeks and weeks of talking of all these things and then e emailing that nobody's answering to me, they answered a hundred times to you but you have to have ears to hear and you have to be humble enough to think that every talk was for me. And it, it, if I knew it or I didn't know it, maybe it's a sickness I don't even know I have yet and it will be coming. And that way when we have that level of humility and understanding then we're picking up all the medicines. That's why these are like prescriptions that when you write them later you can go back and read them and the depth of what's inside that information it will keep feeding for all of eternity, all your life on earth that will keep feeding you. Because every time you read that again you should be spiritually at a different level. If you sp things that you wrote, it should make more understandings and more realities opening within your heart. That's the purpose of writing, otherwise nobody is going to remember this talk after talk. I asked some people from last night, what did we talk about? Because in that 40 minutes was loaded with all sorts of haqqaiqs. If you didn't write it, you, you have probably have no understanding what we talked about. Nor can you recall but maybe one word of it. And that's a shame because these knowledges they're not everywhere and these knowledges will not continue to come. At one point in time everything ends and when it ends it's very difficult to find again. And we've seen this all of our tariqah life. Many fountains were open when we came, now all of them are closed. So. What we Imam Ali described that, that, take from me what you can while I'm amongst you. And that's a, a reality that anytime we're in the, in the presence of the shaykhs that if they're going to teach that we have to inherit that teaching by writing. And when you write it you would have gone back and you would have seen he answered 500 emails in this talk. And in depth because the email they're just going to give you know 10 words, they don't have a staff of 500 employees sitting and typing and dictating and, and uh, operating like that. The in depth of 40 minutes of talk came to answer your, your concerns because it's your concern and many people's concern because of the difficulty that's coming upon this earth and the difficulty with mental illness, the energies that are coming into the head, energies that are coming to make the person to be angered, to leave their religion, to leave their belief and, and join the dajjal. So this is a system that is now moving very fast on earth and very powerful like waves, huge black waves of darkness that are coming and hitting you know from shore to shore, people to people that will be lost in, in the darkness of this confusion. So the ones whom hold tight are the ones whom listening to these stations of guidance that make your connection. Write these knowledges down for a day should come and we're disconnected from each other, you should have these knowledges written. Some of the clever ones they have it in their books, they got the books, they have all of these tools. 
They're not thinking that, oh I'll just catch it on the next broadcast and I'll, I'll learn maybe next year on the broadcast, Allah knows. We didn't think in two years the whole world was shut down and we wouldn't have a mawlid and alhamdulillah Allah gave us another chance now to have mawlid and Nabi Will it happen again? Do we know that next year it will be coming? They have no understanding, no idea. So it means we live now day for day where every day could be the last day. Take and acquire the knowledge you can, write what you can, understand what you can. Think to yourself that whatever I need they are speaking to me now and I'm absorbing and I'm trying my best to absorb and inshaAllah we should find ourselves to be successful against the overwhelming tide of difficulties. Because the shaykhs they're like battleships, you know if the waves get bigger Allah reinforces their structure not only to go above the ocean but they have an immense ability to go under the ocean where everything is calm. There may be storms on top but Allah has trained them to submerge. As they submerge then they're free from the turbulence and the disrupt, the, all of the destruction above and in the surface. So Allah is the best of planners and He's conditioned the situation in which they understand their coordinates and, and, and how they're supposed to operate. We pray that our people understand and, and you know they have the ears to listen and to absorb these realities. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamu ala mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha.